ability to create fluid responsive pages came to Muse, scroll effects weren't in the deal. So for some time now, recreating those animations and motions for our fluid websites required rigging widgets and techniques together to render those similar effects. Well, today I'm excited to introduce to you Cookie's new responsive scroll effects widget. Our scroll effects widget is an independent tool that's extremely powerful while still being completely familiar to you. There's no learning curve. You can have your effects up and going in no time because it performs just as you'd expect if you're acquainted with Muse's scroll effects features. Muse's scroll effects gives you the T handle and these two areas to create your effects on fixed width pages. With our scroll effects widget, you will immediately recognize those areas in the option panel. These sets of values use the same system as Muse's except now there's this additional section, and that's because there's not just one handle. Our scroll effects widget is double handled, so not only can you design your object's initial and final motion, but now you can have the opportunity to create effects for before, between, and after these handles. Using what you already know about scroll effects, with the two handles you have up to three different effects you can have. But most importantly, the widget is fully responsive for fluid and fixed width pages. Whether you want scroll effects for your fixed width pages with unresponsive content or a full fluid width site with however many breakpoints, the widget translates smoothly. All you need to do is place and name the handles, plug in your effects, and you're ready to go, all with this one tool. So starting from this fixed width page with my content and handles placed, named, my effects are plugged in, I can have those effects operating nicely. But if I shifted this page over to a fluid width page with responsive sizing content, I can see I'm still getting those same effects on my fully responsive page. If you attempted this with Muse's scroll effects, you would receive a warning about your effects being disabled. But you can see here, those same effects were effortlessly translated. You direct the effects within each breakpoint as well, so you can move the objects or the handles to respond with your page layout design. The possibilities are endless and they allow for so much. The widget is currently undergoing some usability testing and will shortly be available within your ultimate pass. We send users an email notification as soon as it ships, so just keep an eye out for that. We'll have plenty of documentation and content for the widget once it is out. We'd love for you to continue the conversation below in this news article with any questions or comments you may have. This is Danielle with Cookie.com and thanks for tuning in.